Details tonight in a story the 12 News I team first brought you exclusively back in March. Deputies have now arrested a dog breeder accused of fraudulently taking money without providing the precious puppies her clients paid for. The case really makes a lot of us think twice about sending money through apps. The I team's Erica Stapleton shows us how deputies finally collared the breeder in this case after all this time. I don't take any pleasure truly in somebody going to jail. Breeder Shayla Petherick now in the doghouse. But it's, it's a consequence for her actions. And Christina Proctor in North Phoenix knows about consequences. In September 2020, she sent Petherick $500 through a cash app, a down payment for a dog in Petherick's next litter. At the time, Petherick operated a business called Littlefoot Yorkies in the Queen Creek area. Months went by and Proctor never saw a puppy or a refund. When you heard she'd been arrested, what went through your head? It was a sense of relief that perhaps we can stop her. Pinal County deputies now arresting Petherick on two counts of fraudulent schemes after about 20 people reported they'd had their money taken without ever getting a puppy. When we caught her, she was still trying to sell puppies online under a different alias. Pinal County so, Sheriff Mark Lamb explaining why this massive investigation took time. We had reports she had gone to California and she came home for the holidays. We uh, did some surveillance on a relative's home and yesterday we were able to take her into custody. The I-team tracking down 17 victims in early 2021. One as far away as St. Louis, Missouri. Some accusing Petherick of using puppy pictures from other breeders and passing them off as her own. Our math shows that combined, they lost more than $10,000. You know, you feel stupid. It makes it difficult to trust again. The Littlefoot Yorkies website is now gone. And when we talked to Petherick over the phone back in February, she blamed another breeder for not being able to deliver on the dogs. Proctor and some of the other prospective pooch buyers eventually got their money back, but it's been a painful ordeal. It's the psychological thing of having been duped. A silver lining for Proctor, who went on to adopt Louie and Layla. Her advice to people now, vet your breeder and don't send money to just anybody. Erica Stapleton, 12 News.